Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to ask the question, can we invest in these what-if cards? And I think that answer is yes, and I want to talk about it because these cards fluctuate a lot already, especially ones that are already scoring goals, and we already have one card that is going to get upgraded. We have a what-if player that is already going to get upgraded, guaranteed upgrade coming this Wednesday. You guys know who it is. It's Mbabu. But I want to answer the question today and kind of talk it through with you guys is how and why we would be able to invest in these what if cards as they trend out of packs later this week because I do think you're going to see them rise out of packs. It's almost inevitable, right? If they don't get upgraded right away like Mbabu has, each of them, especially since there's a lot more attackers, are going to progress, hopefully, as their team scores more goals, progress towards that five or six goal in five game, that six goals achievement or that six goal, I guess, goal threshold, you will, if you will. Um, every single game, they should get closer to that. So that's why I think you'll see their prices rise as we near out of packs and stuff like that. So I want to talk about that, but also weigh the option of them being in packs, of course, till next Friday and what that could mean for supply and stuff like that because we also have some mid-week games to talk about. But first things first, we had a nice little 1-0 win today from Wolfsburg. 2-0 win from Wolfsburg over Hertha. So this Mbabu on Wednesday is going to be going to an 87 rated card. Some people are asking me, yo, should I snipe this at 500k? Here's my thoughts. This card is going to be just as good as Reese James or even a little bit better if you compare them side by side when he goes to an 87 rated card. Reese James is 740,000 coins on the PlayStation console. He is about 620k on the Xbox. There's about 120 100,000 coin difference between those two cards. There's about 100k difference between these two cards. I honestly think that when this Mbappé gets upgraded, he is going to be over 600,000 coins for a short period of time on the PlayStation and on Xbox. He's probably going to rise up to around like 500k, I, I would imagine. I would imagine it's going to rise up to somewhere just near 500k. So I do, I do think this card goes up when he does get upgraded. Just kind of keeping that in mind. I just don't know how long he stays there. Doesn't have as good of links, of course, as Reese James. But I'm sure this card in game is going to be nuts, and a lot of people are going to want to try it out. So I do think that card's going to rise up. Of course, you're waiting on EA to update the price range, and that could take one day. It's already been a day or two. That could also take another three or four days. So who knows when they're going to update that price range. But that is the situation on Mbabu. Now, we also had some interesting market movements. And as we kind of ask, answer the question, can we invest in these cards? We saw Dortmund put three goals away today and add three goals to that tally. They're already halfway to six for their first game in the league, right? These ga The goals that these attackers and midfielders have to score to get the six goals in five games only counts from domestic league matches. Since they scored three today, they're already halfway there. You saw this Sancho rise from 1.4 million coins up to 1.6 and be like 1.65 during the game. And then, of course, drop down with more lightning round supply, getting rare overnight. He's now bouncing back, as cards usually do, as they get rare overnight. But um, I think there's potential. Depending on what the content is today, you might see another dip in this Sancho. I think Sancho might be one of the best ones to actually buy into um, as he gets closer and closer to this upgrade because Dortmund have already scored three goals. And I think it kind of paints the picture for us on what's going to happen and can we invest on these cards. Because if you think about it again, as they play more games, they should get closer and closer to that goal and you'll see those prices rise. Now, some cards like Jovic, that Frankfurt scored one goal in the first game. And this guy's 175k. He was 290 on Friday when they were playing their games. I'm really, really watching this card because this goes to an 89. He's going to look cracked. I think he could go back up to 300,000 coins. But of course, he's still in packs getting supplied. And he's not as rare as this Sancho and, and is in demand as this Sancho is. But I just want to make this point too that, you know, a lot of these guys have midweek games. Now, there's a few cards that play midweek, so the buy window for those might be a bit earlier because, of course, Lace Milou and, and Nice have already put two goals away, right? Let's say they score two more this week. They're on four goals, and you might be thinking, hey, their next league game, he's going to get upgraded because he's going to go to an 88. Just like we see with headliner cards, after they get two wins, especially after they get that third win, their price starts to rise. The same thing is going to happen with these what if cards. As soon as they get two goals, three goals, four goals, that price is going to start creeping up. People are going to start investing in them because they get closer and closer to that upgrade. Now for defenders, it's a bit different, right? 
because it could just be one single game. That's all it takes for these defenders to get a clean sheet. Their prices are probably going to do more of this, just a straight up and down, maybe a little bit of a rise if they're meta, kind of out of packs. But Smalling and Roma play today on Sunday. This guy was extinct to 800K. He's down to 720. He will go extinct if Roma do not score or do not let in any goals today on Sunday. He will go extinct if he's going to get that upgrade and be a 90 rated card because that dude is going to be nuts. I'm just saying this small in card has the potential to be like possibly closer to almost a million coins. I'll say it when he does go to that 90 rated threshold, unless we see some sort of huge market crash. But um, this card's going to be nuts. I believe it's going to look crazy. Anyways, um, he could get a, he could get an upgrade today, right? He, or he could secure his upgrade today. That's the thing that's different about the defenders is it's a one game. All it takes clean sheet, boom, done over with just like in Babu. He's guaranteed that upgrade. If only we could see what his price would do, because of course he is extinct, but I do think for a lot of these cards that have already played this weekend, Papu Gomez has already played. Uh, Odegaard plays today. Um, I think of course, Les Melu has already played. He's down. They scored two goals. Jovic, Frankfurt scored one goal. Sancho scored three. So I think especially for Les Melu and Jovic, those are cards that I would get involved in pretty soon because there's no Bundesliga midweek matches this next week in the first week of March. But I want to point things out because, of course, some of these Serie A teams and League 1 teams and even in the Prem have midweek games. You have guys from Olympic... Uh, Leon, so that would be the Marcelo center back card, and also Nice both play games midweek this week. So that's just opportunity for them to score more goals or to get a clean sheet. Same thing with Sassuolo for the objective um, card. Then you have Roma with Smalling again, and then Udinese playing Milan. More opportunities for more goals for these cards or for clean sheets for the defenders. So if there's a card that has a midweek game, as you're looking through, like look through some of the matchups. There's a, a couple of them on Wednesday. I don't think there's any on Thursday. Uh, Chelsea, of course, with uh, Chelsea are playing Liverpool on Thursday, so that could be potential goals for Conte's card getting upgraded, depending on how that game goes. Friday, I don't think you have any. And then, of course, on Saturday on the weekend, you have more La Liga games and more Bundesliga games happening again that could potentially upgrade those cards or get them closer to upgrading. One quick note. Uh, I believe it's on Wednesday. Wednesday, maybe? Or two, yes, Wednesday, Copa del Rey, Barcelona versus Sevilla. Again, it is only the league games. So only league games, no cup games, no Europa League, no Champions League will upgrade these cards. So Papu Gomez is not going to be able to be scoring goals for Sevilla or Sevilla can't score goals to try to upgrade his card until the weekend. So where a card like that, maybe you wait a little bit longer, right? Maybe there's potential for his card since there's no games going on. You see some panic or some supply later on during this week or during rewards, right? These cards have a pretty high pack weight. So if a card a card could potentially get packed during rewards a little bit more and drop that price down. But also I feel like if, it's, if a card is close to getting upgraded, people are going to start buying that at rewards. So that's the only tricky thing. I feel like you might be able to buy some of these cards early, like today on Sunday, if there's any panic. We'll talk about the up to upcoming content I think could be coming today. If you see that, and then possibly a flip later on in like Tuesday, Wednesday timeframe when they play, or maybe some buys you can make later this week on like Thursday when these cards might be their cheapest at rewards to then see them rise out of packs as they continue to get closer to those upgrades. So yes, I do think just like headliner cards that the all of these items have even higher potential than headliners to get upgraded because these are team objectives, not necessarily a player, right? Uh, and it's not just teams getting wins either. It's just teams scoring goals. So as long as they can score a couple goals every couple games, they're probably going to be on their way to getting six goals, right? That's how it seems. And a clean sheet, you know, in every five games, hopefully there's a clean sheet, clean sheet for each of these teams. But that's kind of my thoughts on the what if cards. I'm going to get interested possibly with putting a couple of them on my transfer list uh, and then seeing them rise as they get closer to their upgrade because a lot of these guys are going to look sick when they do get their upgrades. But... That's enough of that. Let's talk about Man of the Match items. We have new UCL Man of the Match cards and Europa League Man of the Match cards with dynamic images. And that is something that has not happened before. We actually have dynamic images for these cards, which is dope. Mbappe, of course, getting a card. Holland, of, of course, getting a card. Giroud getting one for his bicycle kick. Kabak. Deli Ali with a dynamic image. Gerard Moreno. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other Europa League cards. Musa Morega, Morelos. There's actually a pretty... Sick looking right back that is uh, Danish. 
Uh, he actually looks really sick, and I think he's this card, so keep look out for that card, because this card actually looks pretty nuts. But uh, a lot of these guys are getting supplied today through lightning rounds, and I want to talk about this Erling Brown Holland for a second, because this headliner Holland has not gotten upgraded yet, and he is down in price. But very similar to the Road to the Final cards, I think this card has been overinvested in because basically since the date that Holland scored those goals in the Champions League when we started expecting him to get a man of the match or an upgrade, he has gone up 150,000 coins basically on the PlayStation console. He's gone up over 100k on the Xbox console as well. I think this card was a bit overinvested in. Uh, Dortmund are on a two-game win streak for the headliner streak upgrade, but they're playing... Uh, I said Dortmund. Yes, Dortmund is playing against Bayern Munich next weekend so that's a big matchup which they probably could lose and that would negate his streak going back down to zero so that could make this card lose a little bit of value but since this 89 man of the match holland is already 300,000 coins i really don't feel like this card should be worth 655 with the amount of people that i know have invested in it i think it does drop down but then possibly start to rise back up when it does go to a 90 but I feel like maybe in the like the 600k range or a little bit lower is like the sweet spot for this card right now, getting a plus one, you know, because he, he was like, what, 550, 560k, and now he's back up, he's over 100k over that price. I do feel like he needs to drop down a little bit yet. Um, maybe when people wake up in the morning and see this is not upgraded yet, or if it is upgraded, uh, I think people are waiting for it to go to a 90 before they sell. I just don't know if there's enough demand for this card. If there's not enough demand for an 86 rated Kessie who looks absolutely disgusting with a UCL or a Europa League road to the final upgrade on that card, if that card goes down with overinvesting, I feel like there's just amount of possibility that this Holland card could go down as well. Now, these UCL man of the match cards are out until uh, Wednesday, I believe. They're out until Wednesday, and right now they're pretty rare on the market. 299 for this Holland. He's been fluctuating around. I actually have a couple of them because I think he might rebound back up in the morning uh, as he gets rare. These cards are going to be rare. They're going to be great to trade with um, throughout the rest of this year in FIFA because these man of the match items are always pretty rare. So Kabak at like discard value, you know, um, Giroud at discard value, a couple of these cards that are close to discard could be pretty good pickups just chuck in the club like we do with regular Fanta cards. Just be careful that if EA reduce the minimum price range down, which is what they did with the normal Man of the Match cards, uh, they took it from 15k down to 10,000 coins. So be careful if you're buying some Kabox around Discard, which I think is a good investment, which Discard right now is 15k. If EA drop it to 10k, some of the cards that really aren't worth 15k even, if you're buying those as a discard investment, you might end up losing coins on because the, they'll just drop down to where the discard range goes. But I feel like this card could rise up a little bit out of packs, so just keep an eye on that one. I'm sure a lot of people will want to invest in it, so it might become overinvested, but that'll be something to keep an eye on as well. Now, of course, today on Sunday, we still have that 85 times 5 pack that has not come out yet. I think we're expecting it today. I thought it was coming yesterday. Uh, but I wonder if EA didn't want to put it out with the Man of the Matches dropping and the Muller SBC, which I'm sure a lot of you guys who are uh, Bayern Munich fans are very happy that Muller is finally getting noticed, getting himself an SBC. He got the, I think it was a skill move upgrade or a weak foot upgrade, one of the two, but he is now four star, four star. This is about 260, 270K, not a terrible value SBC if it's emotional for you. Other than that, I mean, I'm probably not going to be doing it. It's not for me, but it is a nice one, right? If for for Bayern fans, for Bundesliga fans, it is a nice one to get that Muller. So that was out. But if we see an 85 times five today, yes, you will see SBC fodder kind of jump up. You know, fodder right now, if we, I was taking a look at some of these graphs. This is the, the index 86 graph for the entire year of FIFA. Take a look at this. It's literally just gone up all year long, but you saw this index 86 go to 414 points and 431 points in the past month. Right now we're at 366. So there is room for this market in SPC fodder to go higher. If they were to release like an 85 times five pack today, I don't think that would be that cheap, right? It's probably gonna cost a couple informs, probably gonna cost you probably somewhere around like 200K or maybe 150,000 coins, honestly, maybe even more than that. Now, I, don't, I know that you know EA added that code or adjusted that code. That might not even be a pack that we end up seeing actually as an SBC. But regardless, I think today would be a day where they would drop upgrade SBCs and a lot of people will be 
motivated to do those upgrade SBCs because if you look what is in packs right now, you have a team of the week with Ronaldo, Rashford, and Handanovic, right? Ronaldo is in packs as a special card, a special Rashford's in packs. You've got a special version of Mbappe Holland, right, with Man of the Match, and you have a promo team, right? There's a big reason to open packs right now, and I think that's really going to make people want to open upgrade packs or picks if those come out, and also Icon Swaps packs, right? Icon Swaps, the 81, 82, or 83 times 25, if you have not grinded these out yet, it's honestly not a very bad time to be, to be opening these with all the special cards that are in packs for the next three to four days. So I would honestly recommend, I'm probably going to try to get some swaps games done early in the week if I can and get these packs sort of worked on and get the progress moving on them so uh, I can maybe open them up. I've already seen people get crazy pulls from some of those packs already uh, because of all the special items that are in packs. But in general today, if we do see some sort of upgrade pack, SBC, or something along the lines of that 85 times 5 released, you know, still take a look around the market because there's a lot of popular players that have dropped off in price that could bounce back a little bit during the week just from a normal weekly sell-off. Of course, we have a objective out right now for Caputo, so an another Serie objective. So keep your eye out on some of the Serie A cards that are very linkable that people like to use. You know, I think about Bastoni as an Italian center back, 234. He was 200K um, on the weekend. Um, I think when, I forget when it was. I think it was when the promo team came out. This guy dropped down a little bit when like Smalling first came out and now he's back up 30,000 coins. So that was a good investment there. I'm kind of watching like the other attacking players like this Insigne in form, maybe even the Insigne road to the final item, uh, both as, you know, green links to that Caputo objective. You know, Tonali has already been out. That's a green link to Caputo. You know, some of these headliner items, Goretzka is inflated right now because he might be getting a team of the week card, three assists in the game yesterday. So keep an eye on that. Um, and you know, you're just your meta normal cards that people use every single week in FIFA. Watch the weekly sell off on those because especially if they're like Syria or if they link to the objective or if they're just that meta, um, you know, there's always going to be room. And if there's panic selling today because of the content, again, that's always something you can keep a watch out for. Now, one thing I did notice today is that there was uh, a little bit of uptick on some of these road to the finals that got kind of panic sold off when their upgrades happened. A couple of these cards that had really saucy upgrades actually upticked a little bit. One of those is Bruno Perez. And I just want to kind of put this out there that some of the road to the finals that seem to be dead after their upgrade, if their upgrade was like a plus two uh, and they really have good links and uh, it, you know, like this Bruno Perez is now in the argument for one of the best right backs in the Serie A, if not in the game. This guy was like 250K earlier today. He's now 275. Links, of course, to Smaldini. And this card just looks pretty awesome now for a right back item in FIFA. So I think this is garnering some hype. Of course, check out the other Road to the Finals that got upgraded and see if those have potential to rise a little bit more this week too with the links that they have. So just keep an eye on that. And if you're trying to trade in this market, icon moments are risky. Icons are a little bit risky too, but they can be very profitable because people are trying cards right now. Of course, um, with the new icon moments that are out, people are trying a lot of those. Now I ended up selling my Blanc today for like 1.94, 1.95. So I did take my loss. Uh, but we're still right around 3 million coins once I sell everything and uh, we are making some good profits. So we're going to keep continuing in that trend, keep trading, keep flipping and keep grinding. I am very motivated to continue uh, building and growing my coin total with team of the season kind of in mind. It's like the end goal, trying to get some big amount of coins up for team of the season. Um, I definitely should have bought that Canavara at 1.03 because he's now 1.1 plus, right? Fluctuations on icons are still happening, right? Especially the icons that people like to trade with a lot. So that's kind of my video for today, boys. Uh, I wanted to talk about specifically these brand new what if items, talk about if we can invest in them, which I think we can. So we'll be watching those prices throughout the week this week. They're gonna continue to fluctuate, especially if they have midweek games. Watch for that Roma plays today, right? Odegaard, Smalling, keep an eye on those today as they do have games. They're gonna be fun to watch and I'm kind of rooting for goals, right? Goals means exciting games. And I guess a clean sheet though, for the defenders would mean not a lot of excitement, but the upgrade would happen. So, and Babu is the only one upgraded for now. We'll see if Roma can hold a clean sheet today and maybe Smalling will go to a 90 rated card, which would be nuts. Um, anyway, so that's the video for today. Again, if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.